Hey everybody, it's Julie, and today I'm gonna to be sharing a 12 days countdown. I don't know about you, but I absolutely adore Advent projects, and I'm always pinning different ideas for them on Pinterest, I have hundreds of them pinned. But if you're like me, life gets crazy at the holidays, and it's kind of hard, challenging, to pull together a 24 day countdown. So I thought it would be fun to modify it and do something using the 12 day stamp set. And I wanted to point out that all the stamp sets in the Essentials by Ellen collection come in a really awesome durable clear pouch for easy storage and organization and they're indexed there on the top right corner right there on the backer sheet so you know exactly what stamp set you're working with. And I'm gonna start by taking all the little guys there in the stamp set, like the partridge here. He just cracks me up. I love him with his little pear hanging out of his mouth. And the little French hens and the four calling birds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ink those up with the Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink. I love this ink. It's the best white ink ever in the history of the world, I tell ya. And I've already pre-cut my licorice cardstock into this size for tags. And then to create the shipping tag effect, I'm going to use my corner chomper tool that has the angle cut. So there are different patterns of corner chompers and this one has that shipping tag angle. And I'm just going to stack them up and nest them into the corner guides there on the tool and make sure I get them all lined up. And my corner chomper has seen better days so it doesn't cut quite as many layers as, as probably a brand new one would. But um, my <laughs> <laughs> Mine will only cut through about three layers at a time, but those things are strong. They can cut through chipboard even, so um, don't hesitate to use it on things like that. And then to punch the hole, I just clamped my tags together and I used the cropodial to go ahead and punch through all the thicknesses of those tags. And I did about half of them, so I did about six layers of cardstock at a time. And then I had some scrap bristol laying around, so I went ahead and punched the larger of the holes all the way down that. And then I'm centering a half inch circle punch and punching those out to create my own custom reinforcers there for my tags. So all I have to do is take some of that Tombow um, Mono Multi Glue and just quickly glue those into place on my tags. And there you can see the full set. The, you can just really pump these out super fast, very quick and easy. And I heat set them, but you can let them air dry, especially if you're doing a lot. And this is a great way to kind of speed up your stamping for mass production on something like this. And I wanted to create some texture on my pouches. I'm using these glassine um, envelopes and they have flaps and I didn't want to apply any texture to the flap, so I did it this way, but you could certainly, you know, stick an entire glassine bag in there and texturize it that way. And I thought it would be fun to use the embossing folder instead of stamping on it, I would just embed that texture right into the glassine paper and it looks really cool with an embossing folder. So now I'm going to go ahead and string up my tags, just tie a little bow on them. And you could wrap it around the pouch depending on what you've got inside. But I had these candies and it kind of squashed the bag if I tried to tie the twine all the way around it. So I figured this was a better look. And then I could just put them in a box and you could actually flip right through them and attach those with those adorable little clothespins by Hero Arts. I just think they're so cute. And isn't this fun? I think that chalkboard look is perfect. It's so easy and this is really a great idea. You can give it to anybody. And I wanted to take a closer look at the 12 day stamp set. There are a lot of images in this set that actually have um, multi-purpose um, embedded into them or designed into them, I should say, because um, when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh man, you know, I don't want a guy leaping, I want his shoes. And then I could make a Father's Day card with those shoes. So I kind of started thinking when I was designing this set about all the different things um, I would want to create with the images that were in this set if I just you know, thought it out a little bit. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm customizing these stamps by cutting apart the numbers from the images. And you don't have to do it to all of them, but um, I thought it would be fun to take the ones that I immediately had ideas for, like this calling bird, and I cut apart the number four and came up with this really fun card. I keep thinking of that song by Robin, call your girlfriend. And I have the blah, blah, blah up there. I used the Lawn Fawns Milo's ABCs, which I thought was perfect for this. And I had a speech bubble die um, that I used from Paper Smooches. And I think it's a great way to use these stamps all year round. And I hope it sparks some ideas for you. Thanks for watching.